Hello everyone, my name is Olga and today we are going to Balat neighborhood in Istanbul. It's one of the older neighborhoods and to be honest, when I was living in Istanbul, I was a bit scared to go there alone because yes, I saw those colorful houses on Instagram, but I also read that because it's an older neighborhood, it might not be as safe for a solo female tourists especially. So this time when I came to Istanbul with my husband Renee, we decided to finally check out that neighborhood. And because this area is a bit away from the tourist attractions, if you are in Istanbul only for a couple of days, you might be wondering, should I even go there? So I invite you to come with us and discover Balat for ourselves. Is it just a tourist trap with a few colorful houses or is there more to see and more to explore? Let's go. So we start our day as usual with a cup of coffee and lunch at a local restaurant. Next we arrived at Halic metro station and from here you can see both the old city and the European side of Istanbul. Then to get to Balat you can either take a bus or just walk like we did and we didn't regret our decision and even though this area looks very old it is still a very interesting place to see. So this is a religious structure of Eastern Roman origin and it has been converted into a mosque. And alongside the older buildings that are not renovated unfortunately yet, there are also others that are renovated. So overall it is something to see and Right here where we are walking now, we didn't even see uh, tourists at all. Uh, what I read is that Balat is one of the oldest areas in Istanbul, if not the oldest, maybe the oldest. And a lot of Greek communities, well, Greek community, uh, Jewish community, if you can just pass, Jewish people. So yeah, and most of the buildings are something like 50 years old. Some of them are even 200. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here the interesting part to see is that in the spirit of uh, colorfulness of Balat, they painted the fence in pink and in green. And here just by walking you can already see from the architecture that Palat has a very rich history. So even though many buildings are run down, it is still something worth exploring, something worth seeing. And I think uh, we also Are should be helping? mindful that there are still people living in these houses. This is not just an open-air museum, it's uh, an actual place where actual people still live. Again, more like European style. Oh, <laughs> that is quite old, must be. Yeah, everywhere you look, see all kinds of things. Even street art. Embla. Hmm. <laughs> oh, this is one of our points of interest. Actually. This is where we were going. Here we do start seeing some tourists, but again it's not crowds of them like in the city center or uh, near Hagia Sophia for example. 
people I do see that So this Greek school is still functioning and it was built when? 1454. 1454. And it's built with red bricks from Marseille, France. So hello to everyone from France. And your, Greece. your bricks are safe here. <laughs> Come see. <laughs> Imagine how cool it is to actually study here. <laughs> going every day to a school like this. This Greek school unfortunately is not open to the public so you can only see it from the outside. Somebody is living right next to this beautiful building. And this colorful house is right next to the Greek school. So you do see that some of the buildings are renovated and overall they make a very pretty picture together with the old buildings. Now we are walking towards Kermit Jadisi and this is one of the most popular points of attraction in Balat. Most of the tourists come here and this is what you are most likely to see on Instagram. This is one of the most photographed places in Istanbul and I tend to believe the internet, <laughs> a lot of people, we are not the only ones, no, it is really pretty, but I don't uh, envy those who live there, <laughs> they have to keep their windows shut, <laughs> but maybe there is a restaurant, it? No, it doesn't look like it, no sign, no nothing. And here we walk on the side street and right away see the laundry drying outside. This is of course the sign that uh, these buildings are not just a museum and actual people living there. But is it further up? So some buildings are lonely like this. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There is the sea. And here are those buildings that are 50 to 200 years old. Look very charming. But in need of some loving. <laughs> Actually, people living in this one. Yeah. Well, if you have to live somewhere, and if it has a roof, I say it's good enough. <laughs> if you don't have well, here anywhere else to live. Somehow, I have a feeling that some roofs here are leaking. Well, maybe a leaky roof is still better than no roof. Yeah. <laughs> but better than a tent. At least warmer. No. Yeah. Now that the prices in Antalya are a thousand for a month, almost like somewhere in Spain or something, some people might. Well, it's more expensive than what we paid on Airbnb in this one for a month. Now we are about to discover more cuteness of Palat. I think it's this one. I do remember the balconies and the pictures. 
but it is quite steep. But no tourists here. <laughs> we are the only ones so far. Ah, there is a cafe at the bottom. Yeah. This is another very popular place in Balat. And again here at first we didn't even see tourists, although it was the middle of the day already. And here we discovered this is an old Greek building and inside there is a restaurant now, uh, it's on three floors. But you don't even need to order anything, to pay for anything, it's essentially like an open museum, open for everyone. Sitting on the balcony and drinking chai was uh, very nice after full day of walking. The day is almost over and we are looking somewhere where they can sell us a piece of chicken and we can buy it. So the chicken didn't die in vain. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're exonerated. Hello. Hello. They want to be in camera too. <laughs> Yeah. Money. They are smart. No. <laughs> money. Money. Of course. Money. Of course. Oh, money. Who stole it? Chuck Buzel. Chuck Buzel. Where from? The Netherlands. Netherlands. Kijk eens. 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 And walking towards restaurant, we were not walking towards uh, another attraction, so I guess we took a bit of beaten path to see some areas that are not normally frequented by tourists. And even here we see some of the buildings are renovated, others are quite old, but also worth seeing. But overall, I would say that during this day, we didn't feel like we are in a tourist trap at all. We, of course, we saw some places popular for tourism, but also we did see local life. So even by now, uh, at this time, on our trip to Balat, we already felt like we had more than we bargained for. So we didn't expect that we find uh, another very cool spot in Balat, especially because I didn't see it in any of the guides. I just pointed to a restaurant on the map. And then it turned out that that restaurant is a very cool viewpoint in Balat. And I will leave a link to the restaurant in the description. I think uh, if you are going to Balat, you should also visit that restaurant too. train to steal some sausage from the chickens looks like he is successful so from here you can see that all of Balat and a bit of Bosphorus you can see from here and
and also of course they have this uh, colorful small buildings I assume there are also tables inside and you can actually eat there probably when the weather is colder it's really nice We ordered uh, chicken shish, some rice, potatoes and the salad and our total bill was 110 Turkish lira. So after we had our dinner in that restaurant we thought that the filming is over for today, that we saw everything beautiful there is to see in Balat. But it turned out that we almost missed the main location, the Vodina street. And on that street there were many many hipster cafes and local Turkish cafes, vintage shops and overall it was a very nice street to walk. And I would say that this is probably the main street for tourists in Balat and it looked like this is a tourist for all kinds of creative people just judging from the vintage shops and the cafes. So this street is definitely must see in Balat. So what's the conclusion? What's my opinion? Is Balat worth seeing? Is it a tourist trap? Is it a hidden gem? I would say it is everything you want it to be. Of course, if you only see the colorful houses and see nothing else, then for you it might be just a tourist trap. But if you go further, if you discover the old school, if you discover the Vodina street, if you go to a restaurant on the hilltop, you will see so much more and you will get a feeling for this area. You will have uh, experienced more local life. And even though this area is quite old and not the richest people are living here, still it has uh, its charm, its beauty and it's a definitely one of must-see in Istanbul.